Hey everyone, Steven from Straight Fire Picks. We got best bets for Major League Baseball on Wednesday, June 22nd, 2022. We're going to have MLB player props, run lines, over-unders, money lines here for you today. We're going to have three picks that I think are great value bets for this Wednesday Major League Baseball slate. As always, just want to thank you all for your continued support here on the channel. If you're new to the channel here today, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Reminder here at the channel, guys, that we are partnered with Price Picks, so be sure to use our code SFP for 100% deposit match and your first deposit up to $100 on Price Picks. You can also use one of our links that we have down below in the comment section and in the description. It's a great app, guys. They specialize in player props and things of that nature. Uh, you can put multiple picks into an entry to win a lot of money. It really is a fun app to use. Uh, like I said, you can bet just about anything on Price Picks. They even have esports and all sorts of stuff. So. I highly encourage you to check that out. Be sure to also check out our community Discord page as well. It's a great place to connect with our community and to get new ideas for bets. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description of that. A lot of great things happen in our Discord. Be sure to also drop your favorite pick down below in the comment section. If you like your pick included in our comment capper section, just be sure to put a star or an asterisk next to your pick. And we'll include your pick in the video if it hits. Okay, now time for a shout out to our Straight Fire MVPs. So as always, guys, you see this beautiful list here running beside me of all of our Straight Fire MVPs. If you're interested in becoming a Straight Fire MVP, there's a join button down below. We'll also have a link in the comment section and in the description for that. It's a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. Just $3.99 per month, you get a badge next to your name, some custom emojis, uh, roll color in the Discord, and shout outs in our video. And like I said, it's just a great way to support the channel and what we do here at the channel. I do appreciate all of you that have signed up for that. You guys absolutely rock. Um, your guys' support overall has just been um, really, uh, really amazing here at the channel, guys. I really do appreciate all of you. All right, now let's dive right into the results from the previous episode. So for our comment cappers, we had a lot of great call-outs, guys. We had five call-outs here that we have. We had Katie Robinson calling two plays. The two plays she posted both hit. Uh, Kevin Gossman and Bo Brisky. Brieski, over five and a half hits allowed. Uh, both of those cash. So great call outs there from Katie. Uh, Joseph called the Astros money line and the over nine runs. Was able to cash that as well. Kevin Brown called the Boston Detroit under nine and a half runs. Uh, was also able to cash on that. Magic Man called the Phillies Rangers Nerfy. No run first inning there. Cash that. And got to get the bag called the Toronto Blue Jays, Chicago White Sox, over nine runs was also able to cash that. Great calls from our comment cappers. As far as our stream results go, guys, we got that 3-0 sweep. We brought the broom out. He's going to visit us for just a little bit here today. We love the broom. He's a great guy or, or gal. I haven't decided really what, um, you know what I'm trying to say. Um, but uh, we did get the 3-0 sweep, guys. Let's just dust that camera off. I like dusting that off. All right. So we were able to cash on, the, oh boy, we were able to cash on the um, Friday Freeman over one and a half bases. He had a huge game, uh, I believe he had three hits, a um, couple doubles, so he was absolutely great. Uh, we were also able to cash on the Texas Rangers money line, and then we also hit the Colorado Miami Nerfy as well, no run first inning. So great day for us, we got a 3-0 no sweep, hope you all have made money. But let's get back after today guys, let's get this 3-0 no sweep today. So let's get right into our picks. And number one, we are going with Alejandro Kirk over one and a half bases here for the Toronto Blue Jays at plus 100 odds. Absolutely love the value on this, guys. Kirk quietly, you know, you hear a lot of big names in that Blue Jays lineup, right? Alejandro Kirk is actually, you know, been really good for the Blue Jays. One of, probably their best header right now, honestly. And he's, a, he's the catcher for them. He's doing it really kind of quietly. You know, you talk about the names, Vladimir Guerrero, George Springer, Bo Bichette. Uh, there's a lot of names in that lineup, and we, you know, I don't think Kirk gets enough respect for what he does. He is absolutely tearing the cover off the ball this year. He is 13 out of his last 22 to this over one and a half basis line, five out of his last nine on the road, and three out of his last four versus the Chicago White Sox. Particularly versus the White Sox, he's been very, very good. Um, there's no other way to say he's hitting great versus the White Sox uh, so far this season. Um, his splits are terrific, guys. Really across the board. You can't go wrong with any of his splits. Uh, he's hitting 323 on the road, 300 in day daytime games, 315 in June, 
and 304 off of righty. So his splits are very good, um, which we love to see that. He's hitting 351 and slugging 628 over his last 30 games. That's incredible. Um, absolutely terrific numbers there for Alejandro Kirk. In his career off Giolito, the pitcher he's going up against today, he's two out of six off Giolito with two home runs. So great power numbers, obviously, versus Giolito. Um, Giolito this season has really struggled, to be honest with you. Giolito on the year allowing a 318 batting average to righties, which is horrible, uh, really bad. For the season, he's 4 and 3 with a 4.78 ERA, a 1.49 whip. And overall, he's allowing a 277 batting average. But like I said, the right, he's, he's allowing a 318. Um, and if this bet got to the bullpen, White Sox are 21st in bullpen ERA. So that's obviously not very good. Um, and the weather here is going to be ideal for heading, right? 82 degrees and sunny at first pitch. Absolutely uh, terrific weather there in Chicago. We love to see it. Uh, so I think Kirk's going to have a great chance here to go over. Uh, he's been absolutely tearing the cover off the ball this season. It's been really consistent. It's really, um, it's really interesting when you look at their lineup right now. He's probably the best hitter. Uh, so, uh, love it there, guys. For our number one pick, we're going Alejandro Kirk over one and a half bases here for the Toronto Blue Jays at plus one hundred odds. Okay, and at number two, we are going with the Philadelphia Phillies, Texas Rangers, Nerfy bet here. No run first inning at minus one fifteen odds here on Fanduel. So we got Gray going to the mound here for the Texas Rangers. He's 2-3 with a 4.27 ERA, rocking a 1.20 whip, um, and 3.55 ERA at home. And in the month of June, he's allowing an ERA of 2.52. So that's obviously very good. Uh, he's allowing just a 193 batting average and a 1.04 whip. So he's been absolutely terrific here in the month of June. He's 6 out of 11 for the season here in the North. He's been better lately. Uh, which, you know, 6 out of 11 wouldn't be that great for, um, you know, Nerfie. Obviously, that wouldn't be exactly the numbers that we like to see. Uh, but overall, pretty solid there for Gray. Like I said, he's picked it up here lately. That's more what I'm focused on here. He doesn't allow a lot of home runs. Uh, he's allowed five home runs all year and 11 starts. I think overall, it's pretty solid. On the other side here, we got Zach Wheeler. Uh, you know, this is the guy we can trust. He's 6-3 with a 2.69 ERA, a 1.04 whip. Uh overall there he's allowed just three home runs on the season which is really good uh, you honestly like to see that and wheeler here on the season 11 out of 12 to the nerfy so that's obviously very good he is 3-0 with a 1.42 era in june allowing just a 179 batting average and a 0.74 whip so zach wheeler has been obviously uh terrific here again once on, once again in the month of june specifically he's been very good um, as far as these offenses go, Rangers rank 17th in first inning runs, 20th in first inning runs at home. Phillies are 21st in first inning runs, 26th in first inning runs on the road. So love our splits that we have on that. These offenses don't score a lot of runs early. Still might have Bryce Harper out as well, one of those dangerous bats. Um, he's got an infected blister. I don't know if he'll be out or not. You know, he's on the fringe of coming back. Uh, but over whether he plays or whether he doesn't, doesn't really scare me too much. Uh, but he might be out of the lineup again. He was out again yesterday uh, with that injury, so he could be out potentially again. Uh, as far as his part goes, it's about middle of the pack for being pitcher friendly. He ranks 17th in that Bleacher Report article that I talked about a lot uh, for our pitcher friendly park, which is average, which I don't mind seeing that. So do love it there, guys, for our number two pick. We're going with the Philadelphia Phillies, Texas Rangers. No free bet here, no run first inning at minus 115 odds on FanDuel. Okay, and finally at number three, we are going with the Boston Red Sox minus one and a half run line here versus the Detroit Tigers at plus 126 odds. So guys, we got two pretty solid pitchers here going to the mound. Uh, overall, we got Tariq Skubal going to the mound here for the Tigers, who's three and two, the 3.29 ERA. But he does have a 6.75 ERA over his last three starts. He's really struggled allowing earned runs of 5, 4, and 3. It's not like it's going to get any easier for him today either, taking on this Red Sox lineup that's so dangerous. Um, you know, I think Scooble could really struggle again here. And he's rocking a 3.14 ERA on the road, which again isn't bad, but here recently he has struggled. Uh, Red Sox bats, you know, they bat 267 at home, 259 off of lefties, so they could hit, they could hit lefties just fine. Um... 
like I said, they're very good, very dangerous, particularly at home uh, with that 267 batting average. On the other side, we got Michael Walker going to the mound for the Red Sox. 5-1 and one with a 2.28 ERA, a 1.03 whip. He's been absolutely phenomenal this year as well, uh, allowing just a 204 batting average. And the Tigers really struggle off of righties. Uh, I think that, that was the big thing that sticks out with this bet. Uh, you know, if the Red Sox had a lefty going like yesterday um, and Rich Hill, um, you know, I would lean Tigers. So I, I honestly wasn't surprised that the Tigers covered yesterday uh, with Rich Hill pitching. Um, Tigers had about 260 off a of lefty. So big, big split difference there. The Tigers, like I said, just 214 off righties this year. They really do struggle off of righties. And Walk has been terrific. Uh, Waka, particularly here in June, 2 0 with a 1.93 ERA. Uh, his only start here versus the Tigers this season, four and a third innings, uh, allowed just two hits and one earned run there in Detroit. So I, I think Waka could get it done versus this lineup. This Detroit lineup doesn't scare me, to be honest with you. They're 30th in runs. They really struggle to put runs on the board, they struggle to hit the ball. Um, I, think, I don't think that'll be any different here today. And I think that's really the thing that sticks out. Um, you know, I think the Red Sox are going to score some runs, obviously. Um, it's not that Scooble even has to be bad in this game. I just don't think Detroit's really going to score much at all. One, maybe two runs for Detroit is what I got. Uh, I honestly don't see them scoring a lot. So that means the Red Sox got to score three to four, which I think they could easily do that, to be honest with you. Uh, Red Sox are seventh in runs. Like I said, Tigers 38th in runs. As far as these bullpens go, Tigers with a slight edge there. Tigers sixth in bullpen ERA. Red Sox 14th in bullpen ERA. I'll be honest with you, the Red Sox bullpen makes me a little bit nervous, but I think they get it done versus this lineup in particular. It did allow a run late in that game uh, versus Detroit to actually miss the cover um, and end up being 5-4, to four, but I think they can get it done um, here versus this lineup. Nine times out of ten, I don't think this Tigers lineup is going to score that many runs. I really don't. Uh, Tigers are 8-20 and 20 on the road as well. They don't usually travel too well. Red Sox 19-16 and 16 at home, so... Definitely want to roll with the home socks here. I think they get it done. It's great value here for the run line at plus 126. So we will roll it there for our number three pick. We want the Boston Red Sox minus one and a half run line here versus the Detroit Tigers at plus 126 odds. Okay, guys, that's going to do it for our picks. If you enjoyed the content, please be sure to hit that like and subscribe button. Always appreciate that. We are on the road to 6,000 subscribers. Guys, just want to tell you that I appreciate all of you here at the channel. I really do. I was thinking a lot about it yesterday, not to get too mushy on you guys. But all the people that show up day in and day out and support these videos and support what we do at the channel, guys, I really do appreciate it. Um, and it means a lot to me. Uh, whether you watch watch these videos, it's part of your routine. I do appreciate you guys. I really do. Uh, without you guys, we don't exist. Um, so you guys make this channel what it is. And uh, like I said, I can't say that enough. So yeah, end of the mushy stuff. But yeah, I, I do appreciate you guys. Uh, check out all of our social media links. Uh, follow us on Twitter. I do give updates and recaps on our Twitter. Uh, be sure to also check out our Discord page as well, guys. A lot of great people posting great research in the Discord. It is a lot of fun. So I highly encourage you to check that out. Other than that, guys, it's going to do it for me. I hope you all have a great rest of your day, and we will catch you all next time. Peace out.